Good morning. My name is Justin Vining, and this is the Smith Farm. And I'm going to walk you through how I painted this painting. It is acrylic on plywood. Right now, I'm putting a first layer of gesso down. That way, the wood will accept the paint a little bit better. I'm kind of applying it pretty haphazard. A lot of times, I try to make my brush strokes pretty uniform. I'm actually using a three inch bristle brush for both that layer and this layer. Uh, but due to the nature of, of the painting where it's a little bit more, I don't know what the right word is, it's a little messier. So the brush stroke direction doesn't matter as much for me for this, for this particular paint. Right now, I'm working pretty wet and pretty fast. I'm using cadmium yellow at the bottom and cadmium orange medium, I believe, at the top. And I don't mix any of these orange colors before it actually is applied to the wood. I'm, I'm mixing it right in the wood to try to get a smooth transition. So it's really important that I keep the paint really wet to try to capture that transition uh, from sort of that orange up into the reddish orange in, in the air. Now I'm using titanium white to, to map in where these hills are gonna go in the foreground. As I begin the color right here, I start from the background, the hill farthest away and move forward. And I, fit, I almost finish these guys in, in the sense that I try to get them pretty well shaded and try to get them you know, pretty well finished uh, as I go from the back to the forward. That way the, the overlapping looks convincing and it actually looks like one is, is truly in front of the other. As I work in the foreground here, I actually spend quite a bit of, it, of time in this area trying to get these colors just right. I struggle trying to, to find the right mixture of, of browns, uh, get some yellow ochres, some burnt sienna, um, and some probably some raw umber and then the black. Uh, really struggle with that. Also, you can barely see it, but I started mapping out the, the lines of the field. I spent a little bit of time doing that as well. Uh, there we go. You can see it a little bit better just trying to, to get them right and, and make sure that the spacing, the distance, all that kind of stuff was, was worked out so it looks, it looks good. Starting now with, or in with the barn, I'm using titanium white first. The reason I do this is uniformity. I want that form uh, to look like it's in front of both that hill and the sky beyond. Uh, so part, part of the reason is Part of the way I do that is the titanium white, but also it, it functions in another way as well. Um, and it gives this red, this, this layer of red or any other color I would put over for that matter. Uh, it makes it more uniform as well. Uh, so it really helps this barn. It looks like it truly is in front of, of all that space behind it. So at this point, it just really comes down to putting in the rest of the details. I actually didn't take time lapse or stop motion of putting in the really the field, but I uh, just took layers of putting in just small detail, really not a whole lot to it. So now comes my favorite part, making it super shiny. I use a product called Glaze Coat. It's a two part epoxy. I was just mixing it. That's what uh, you just saw. Uh, it's not too difficult to, to use at all. It just takes about five minutes of prepping. Then you pour it's over your painting. I haven't tried this on canvas really, so I don't know how it works, but uh, it's a super heavy, thick coat. And now uh, what I do is just move it around the painting so it, it flows and settles and, and makes a super even coat. I haven't perfected this by any means. Every time I've used it, I still get some imperfections, air bubbles appear through the night. Uh, but I'm getting better, and it, it is a little bit of a science. And here's the finished product. As you can tell, there's quite a bit more detail, both in the barn and this field in the foreground. Uh, quite a bit of splattering and, and all sorts of, of randomness going on in there as well. I think it gives it a little bit of variety and, and visual interest to such a simple composition. But anyways, I, I really I hope you've enjoyed the video and, and found it a little bit helpful or informative. Thanks.